Hey, Steve Mignogna here doing the Junkyard Crawl at Bernardston Auto Wrecking in Bernardston, Massachusetts. And this is a 1972 Ford F100 half ton short bed pickup truck. Uh, now this one's kind of interesting. You know, you can't always believe everything you see in the junkyard. This one here has a big block engine. This is a Ford FE big block V8. And we know that because it has, for one thing, a two barrel carburetor. A 390 generally would have a four barrel, a 428 or a 427 would certainly have at least a four barrel, sometimes uh, two of them. But again, on this one we see 360 right there on the emissions. So this is the Ford pickup truck version of the 352. It's 30,000 bigger than the 352, but again, 360 log manifolds, two bolt, no cross bolted mains on this one. So uh, it's possible this is factory installed, but we'll know more about that in a second when we look at the VIN. But before before we go there, we can actually see on this one, it has the Ford twin I-beam front suspension, which arrived in the mid-1960s. The whole point of this was to give you the comfort of a coil spring, but some of the load-bearing capability of a beam axle. And the, the twin beams are actually, uh, there's two of them, there's a left and a right. And again, they're located by these uh, radius arms right here. Alignments on these are a little tricky. In some cases, people have been, I've heard that you bend on these things to get the alignment just right. Seems a little far-fetched, but I keep hearing that, so maybe it's true. Manual steering on this one here. And here is the, uh, the, the fabric coupler right here, which was also used by General Motors. But when these things get played out, you've got a sloppy steering wheel. And uh, theoretically, this was here to prevent vibrations from getting into the cab, but kind of a weird, the fabric coupler right there, the steering column we go into that. Uh, now let's take a peek here. Now this is of course in 1972, the final year for this horizontal body line that runs outward. For 1973 it would become INCUSE. And to show you what that means, this is a nice book on Ford pickup truck history. And here we see on the bottom right how the horizontal uh, character line is sticks out. And the very next year, 1973, it would go inboard like that. Similar stuff, but another major difference was that 1973 was the first year for the 117 inch wheelbase, 1972 115 inch wheelbase. So subtle differences on the outside and underneath. Now we get into the inside of this one here, we see it has a manual coming through the floor. This one is a Ford Custom, it's not an XL or anything cool, it's just a basic one, rubber floor mat, and there's the four speed manual transmission poking through the hole in the floor. But the VIN is here on this tag, so Shane, we'll take a zoom in on this puppy right here, and what we'll look at is the VIN up here, and we can see that it reads F10, half ton two wheel drive, G302E, Mawa, New Jersey, and an N42050 means uh, January of 72 build date. And again, as we know, up till 1981, Ford pickups do not have a character in the VIN that tells you what year it is. So you have to sort of do a stack of the VIN sequence to find out what year uh, and what month. But again, 1972 here. But the weird thing is that G code, now, if you're a Boss 302 fan, 1969 and 70, G-code means Boss 302 Mustang, right? No, not in Ford pickup trucks. G means 302 Windsor two barrel. So that also tells us that 360 big block was added by somebody, uh, or this door has been changed. I would say probably this is the original door. It seems to match the truck. So again, these trucks uh, parts bolt in and you know all kinds of stuff is done by second, third, fourth, 10th owners on these things. And this was born a 302 two barrel truck. And again, that transmission would have been the, uh, the Borg one or T18 four speed. And we look back here at the axle code. I always check the axle code and that's, that's special. Look at that axle code H2. That's a nine inch rear axle with a 350 gear and a locking differential. Whenever you see a number and a letter H2, the H tells us it's a locking diff. Is it still here? Well, here's the end of that nine inch axle right there. And uh, if that's the original axle, this thing has a 350 track lock locking differential. That's about an $800 center section right there, assuming it's still here. Now signs of orange paint on the end tells us that Johnny Hot Rodder might have owned this thing at some point, And maybe somebody has been in there and either robbed that or who can say, but the H2, 350 traction lock differential, kind of cool. But something else that's kind of interesting is that Ford pickup truck sales were so strong in 1972. In fact, uh, there were something like 463,000 F-Series pickup trucks built in 1972. I mean, it was a massive year. It was the year that Chevrolet fell second to Ford. Ford pulled ahead of Chevrolet, 1972. And here's the thing, Ford dealerships had their own truck facilities in many cases. They sold so many trucks that they had to have the facilities just for the trucks. And this is something from Ford that showed dealerships how to plan their truck dealership. 
And here's the introduction. It says here, construction of a separate truck facility may be economically beneficial for the Ford dealer with a large truck sales and service volume. This guidebook presents plans that provide a general approach to effective use of space and design in a truck facility. They're designed for flexibility and expansion and may be altered to fit any dealer's specific requirements. This is produced by National Service Activity. This is Ford's in-house franchise support. And here's blueprints on how to build your, you got your lounge area, you got your service area, uh, underfloor uh, Monoxo vent. There it is right there for the emissions. Just put the pipe into the floor and beautiful stuff, Ford truck. Now this here is from 1962, I believe. But again, they have big, bigger and biggest. And again, the Ford truck logo here. So again, floor plan B, 784 or 78,554 square feet. So again, Ford dealers uh, often sold more than passenger cars. Trucks were a huge part of the picture. And again, there were 463,000 plus F100 pickup trucks alone sold in 1972. So these are a huge part of Ford's profit picture in the 1970s. And even now, Ford pickup trucks are, I think, America's top selling truck. Uh, they remain to be. But again, this one here, that's a very special rear axle. And the weird thing again is that this one here was born a 302 two barrel, not a G code Boss 302, no canted valve heads, no Holly Ford barrel, just a regular Windsor with a two barrel carburetor. But anyway, this one here is probably seen its last days, but it's a short bed, half tonner, come and get it if you want. But again, uh, everything in the junkyard may not be what it seems. Look at the VIN and that way you can really find out what it is. It's all about the DNA. Well, that's the story of this 72 Ford F100. Come back tomorrow for more junkyard crawl and be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel. See you tomorrow.